I think it's probably one of the, I think it's, it's an edging white and agree disagree. One of the best things that we got going for the city of Worcester is the pile wall. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, having all these artists are going to have 100 murals up by the end of this year. Uh, I will, let's say, installation or activate yeah. spaces here in the city. And I think this year's even planned even better change. They did a great job. And uh, we Sir and Jessica, oh, we Sir and Jessica, good job. <laughs> Playing this all out, trying to activate a lot of space here in the city of Worcester. And we have six sides from Massachusetts this year. Uh, this adds to the economic development vitality of the city of Worcester and brings us again to an international level this year. And, uh, watch all those tweets and Facebook messages go out from all over the world. It brings Worcester to everybody. So, uh, again, I want to thank everybody here in the Oregon Candy Council's District 2 uh, district here. And uh, thanks again. Appreciate it. Now we do the flag raise. Anybody else say anything? Or? Ed? Andy, Just have a great uh, powwow week or two weeks, and uh, thank you to everybody who's organized it. Welcome to the artists who are coming here uh, uh, close by and far away. Uh, we're thrilled to have you here, uh, and look forward to another great experience. Thank you. And everybody is so excited about this. I've been hearing about this for the last couple of weeks, uh, especially on my shopping trips. Um, and there's a great mannequin down at Sweet Jane's. Yeah. <laughs> If you're just joining us, we're live outside City Hall. Pow Wow Worcester is kicking off tomorrow, and today there is a little celebratory flag raising to kick off the mural. Over here, let's see if. And how, what, how long are you here for? She can talk for a minute. Uh, nine days. Nine days. Did you just get here yesterday, or when did uh, you get here? Today. Two hours ago. Today. Oh my God. We <laughs> really are. Yeah. Fresh to Worcester. All right. It's my first time in Massachusetts. Oh, nice. And you're in Montreal or Quebec? Uh, I'm, I'm from France, but I live in Montreal. You live in Montreal. Yeah. Okay, great. And what are you? Are you doing a mural? Or are you doing another piece? Or I'm sculptor. Uh, I'm. I take a. On the garbage, the cardboard for make a sculpture. A sculpture? Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, it's Do you know where you're going to be working yet? Or? So we're still figuring out a few places because we want to make sure she can like make it to, uh, inside and then she's going to go out to a space where we're kind of tour it around the city. Because okay. so it's uh, made of cardboard, so we'll kind of get a few different locations. So we'll so build a common one day, we'll park another day. Can't yeah. wait to see it. Yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> How are you? I'm a reporter from Mass Live, so we're live on Facebook Live right now. Could you tell some of our viewers about who you are and what kind of art you're going to be working on during Pow Wow? Um, I'm Smoluk. Um, I'm from France. I live in Montreal. And I make, um, usually I make a li little shoe in cardboard. Mm -hmm. I sew it with my hand, but, um, but now it's a big one. I don't, I don't say more because I want to make a surprise, but I make a giant show. Yes. Awesome. What got you into using cardboard as your medium? <clears throat> it's, it's, uh, I want to make art. I don't have money. <laughs> it's like free all over the world. Uh, I think it's, it's, um, it's for understand all the people. Like my little brother, it's you don't need to um, to buy uh, like kicks like thirty for a uh, so lot of price, and you just need to take on the garbage 
cool cardboard and you could make exactly the same sneakers you, you wear it usually and I think it's for the planet to a little bit. <laughs> so this is your first time in Massachusetts? Yes. Is there anything that you want to check out while you're here? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Well, it was good to meet you, and we'll be you looking too. forward to what you create during the festival. So here's Che. He's one of the people who will bring Pow Wow to Worcester. What are you looking forward to this year? People like this. Yeah. Um, a lot of new artists coming in, a lot of new mediums to be worked on this year. So we're really excited to see how the community reacts to, to sculpture, installation, and and the, the fun of not knowing where something's going to be. Um, that's really sort of exciting for the year for us. Yeah, so the mural locations have been released, but it seems yes. like the installations are a little more mysterious. By design, we, yeah. we want, we want, you know, Palo Alto's always been about engaging the community. Um, and Jess and Lisa have done a great job of that this year, of organizing a team and artists that are going to get you out and about. Um, and understand that, that this is experiential, right? It's not about, you know, 10 days from now when the mural and the art's up and it's done. It's about right now, getting to know the artists that are here and joining us. Um, getting to know their stories, getting to know what they're about, and then seeing the final piece and having a, a better understanding and appreciation for what they do. All right. Well, I'm sure our viewers are looking forward to checking it out. Here. Here's Noah Bombard from Mass Live. Do you have a favorite powwow mural, Noah? Uh, I'm sure I do. Um, let's see. What would be my favorite one? Uh, well, my favorite mural in Worcester is probably the Wooberry one. That one is fun. So that was by a powwow artist, just right. not during the festival. Right, yeah. That's, that's, that one is, uh, was really good. I don't know. They're all great. The one over at the Hanover is really nice. Um, I always get the one uh, off of uh, coming into the city there with the, uh, the woman with the snake. Uh, it's usually the first one I see, which I forget which building that's on, but uh, somewhere downtown here. But. Great. Good stuff. Very good stuff. So if you just joined us, we're here outside City Hall. There was just a flag raising here to kick off the Pow Wow Worcester Art Festival. That starts tomorrow. There's a party at Electric Haze in the evening to kick off the festival, and then it runs through September 9th. There are 20 new murals going up across the city, in addition to the about 80 or so murals that have gone up during the last two festivals. And this year, there's something a little different. They're doing art installations as well. And as you heard Shay say a few minutes ago, the locations of those are a little bit more mysterious, just to get people engaged and checking out art throughout Worcester. If you have a favorite powwow mural in the city, let us know in the comments which one that you like the best. And you can check out MassLive.com for more information about the festival and to find out where the 20 new murals are going this year. Thank you so much for joining. This is Melissa Hansen with MassLive.